So first things first, let's just kind of get Excel VBA set up here. Um, you'll notice that uh, we've just got our standard ribbons, the home ribbon and the insert ribbon and so on. And we're going to want to add the developer's ribbon to Excel. So to add the developer's ribbon to Excel, um, we go to the office menu. Uh, the office menu has options down at the bottom right of the office menu. So you click on the Excel options button. And in the options, you'll notice then that we have the, the very first option selected. And over in the right-hand pane, there's an option to show the Developer tab. And we need to click that little checkbox and check the Developer tab so that we can see that particular ribbon. So we go ahead and check that and uh, click the OK button on the Options screen. And you'll notice now that we have the Developers tab. And if we... Uh, take a look at the options underneath the developers tab you'll see that there's a bunch of options related to Microsoft Excel um, the very first uh, programming the very first group there is called the code group and you'll notice that there is a visual basic button and so if we click that visual basic button we can open up the visual basic programming environment I'll go ahead and resize that so we can actually see that um, the very first thing you'll notice is that there's nowhere to type, so the Visual Basic window is just this big gray box. Um, and we won't talk a lot about these menus to start with, but there are two areas on the screen um, that are available. But before we look at that, let's take a look at Excel 2010, in case, in case you're running Excel 2010. They've gotten rid of the Office menu, and they've added the File menu. Um, it's just another ribbon, essentially. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and click on that file menu there next to the home menu and and that'll give us a information screen and on that screen you got your options down there on the lower left it has a little button that says options and it's similar to the Excel 2007 so click that options button now they've changed things a little bit here you'll notice that we don't have that very first popular uh, uh, group um, and so the developer tab is not in the same place the developer selection but there is an option there for customizing the ribbons. And under customizing ribbons, you'll notice we have all the ribbons available on that right hand side. And there is the developer ribbon and we need to just click the little checkbox to show the developer ribbon along with all the rest of our ribbons. So click that checkbox and click OK. And now you see there's the developer ribbon just like in the Office 2007 and uh, you click that and you get the same essentially the same ribbon that you had in office 2007 with the code group and so on and you have the uh, visual basic button as you can see there so we can click the visual basic button and uh, get into visual basic again and so again there's that big gray editing area with no ability to edit that but you do have the two little panels on the left hand side you'll notice that uh, the first little panel on the left there is the project pane, the project panel. And uh, just below that uh, project panel is the properties panel. Uh, the project panel shows us our three sheets. Most Excel workbooks start with three sheets. And the workbook itself, those are the objects that we have available in the project so far. We have three sheet objects and the workbook object. And anytime you select one of those objects, you have the properties sheet below that uh, gives you the properties for the currently selected object. So you'll notice there's the worksheet, and the worksheet properties are listed in the properties window just below. We won't be using the properties window very much. But uh, anytime you click on an object, uh, it shows you the properties. And we might use it to like rename an object if we wanted to. Um, but this is uh, not very important for what we're doing at this point. And uh, you can click on the workbook and uh, the workbook would uh, display its properties. So here are all the various properties for the workbook. Um, again, we're not going to do very much with these properties and you don't need to worry about them. But you should understand where the project panel is and where the properties panel is. Now to actually do some code we have to actually add a, 
a module, a code module. And there are a variety of ways of doing this. Um, uh, I tend to uh, want to just right click. But before we actually open our code module, we want to set some settings in VBA. So go to Tools, Options. And you'll notice then that we've got some settings here for when we're actually writing our code. And, and we generally want to set these settings before we do anything else. And if you set them, these options will stay set. You don't have to come back and change these. And so if you're doing this at home, you can just go ahead and do these settings once. If you're doing it in our computer labs, then you're going to have to change these settings every time. Well, the one setting we want to change is, is the uh, de require variable declaration. So you want to make sure that you check that uh, that box and so essentially you want to check every box the the auto syntax check is one that I sometimes will clear but uh, I'll talk more about that in the future so I think the easiest thing to do is is on this first tab go ahead and check all the boxes make sure they're all checked we, we definitely want to require the variable declaration one so uh, definitely check that one um, the auto syntax check, like I said, uh, you could you could play around with that one. The only other one that I think that really might be useful is under the editor format is to change the font size to something a little bit bigger. Um, I'm you know depending on how tired your eyes are, 12 or 14 points might be a little bit easier. <laughs> so uh, I think that's a good idea. Um, these other two tabs, uh, I wouldn't change any of those settings. I would just leave all those alone. Um, and so basically the key idea is is that you want to make sure all your checks all your boxes are checked on the first tab and maybe change the font to a larger size on that second tab so uh, now let's go back and, and see if we can actually add a, a code window um, and like I say there are a variety of ways to do this but I like to just right click on that white area in my project panel so right there just below my workbook object there I I think it's just easy enough to to right click and uh, you'll, you'll see a bunch of options here and what we want to do is we want to uh, insert a module here so we're gonna go ahead and uh, choose that option to insert a module a module essentially is going to hold our code uh, where we actually type the code it, it gives you an editing window there so we insert a module and you'll notice that uh, we get a nice little text editing window and and we've got a new folder called modules and there's our brand new module that we inserted uh, if you want to change the name to that module to something uh, you can see that if you click on it it shows its properties down below in the properties panel and the only property for a module is its name and uh, I don't often change the name but if you'd like to change the name to something to kind of remind you that uh, this is actually a code module you might you might put something in there so uh, we'll just put in Peter code and when we change that name it, it sort of stands out a little bit better when you see this object what it is um, so that's a, a little code module and that's going to hold our code now the the code window acts just like an editing window so we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of code here into our editing window just to do something simple so type the word sub sub in a space and the word hello and just hit enter and as soon as you do that it does a little code completion and adds the rest of your code it puts the parentheses in and hits the end sub and we're going to type a really simple little program here it's sort of like the first program that people type when they're learning a new language and we're going to do a little message box to display a, a piece of text so tab in and we tab in just to indent the code inside of our little subroutine here and we're doing that as a style format and it's a good idea to start having good style because we want to actually make our code look readable so we type the word message box msg box space and then a quote and then hello world and then we end the quote and that's a little string a little text string and so the message box should display that text string on the screen when we run our program you'll notice up in the toolbars there there's a little arrow that says to to run your program so if you click that your program will run and actually show you what's happening it says okay which one do we want to run we want to run our hello module or hello code and there's our little dialog box that says hello world and the program ran nicely and we click OK and there's our first little program very simple okay so you should try this and make sure that all works for you.